Breaking news, Microsoft's long-awaited Copilot for Excel is finally here, and I've got the scoop for you. Copilot integrates directly with Excel and uses AI to accomplish tasks without ever leaving our workbook. In this video, we'll see if it lives up to the hype and look at how we can use Copilot to help us analyze and visualize data, write formulas, and more. Let's get started. To use Copilot to help us with Excel tasks, all we have to do is select the Copilot command on the home tab of the ribbon, and the Copilot window will pop up ready to get to work. At the top of the window, there's a few ideas about how Copilot can help you edit your data, and at the bottom is a message box where you can send prompts to a generative AI model, just like ChatGPT. Copilot even gives you a few suggested prompts, but if you still need some inspiration, you can click the View Prompts button at the bottom and explore all the prompts listed here. If you don't see the Copilot command on the home tab of your ribbon, you need to install it. To install Copilot, go to account.microsoft.com and sign into your account. Once you are signed in, click Try Copilot Pro under the Microsoft Copilot section and sign up for the free trial. A few things to note about Copilot before we get started. When utilizing Copilot, the Excel file has to be saved on your OneDrive, your data has to be formatted as an Excel table, and you must have autosave turned on in order for Copilot to work. Once you've checked your file for these three things, you are ready to go. First things first, let's take a look at how Copilot can sort, filter, and highlight a data set for us. For example, here we have sales data and want to highlight the top five sales so that they stand out but we have no idea how to do this. Not a problem, Copilot can do it for us. Just open Copilot and enter the prompt in the message box that describes the task we want Copilot to do. In this case, I'm going to enter, highlight the top five sales and see what happens. Within seconds, Copilot responds with a conditional formatting rule to review and apply to our data. It says it's going to fill the top five items yellow, which is correct, so I'm going to go ahead and hit apply to add the conditional formatting rule to our data. We've officially highlighted the top five sales thanks to Copilot. That was easy. Now let's double check and make sure that this is correct by sorting the sales from highest to lowest using Copilot, of course. To sort the sales in descending order, I'm going to respond back, sort the sales values from highest to lowest. And once again, Copilot gives us a change to review before it sorts the data. I trust Copilot at this point, so I'm going to hit apply. And as you can see, sales are now sorted in descending order with the top five values highlighted yellow. Finally, let's test out Copilot's filtering capabilities and see if it can filter this data set by the East region. So I'm going to respond back, filter the data on the East region, and immediately Copilot responds, asking us to approve that it'll apply a filter on the region column where the value is equal to east. This is exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to hit apply. And now we just have the Eastern region sales. You can also clear filters using Copilot if you want. So let's say we are done reviewing Eastern sales and need to remove the filter. All we would have to do is respond back, clear all filters on the data set, apply the changes, and our original data set is back. Now that we know that Copilot can sort, filter, and highlight values, let's see how it can help us with Excel formulas. If you're enjoying this video and want to learn how to leverage AI to master Excel, make sure to check out our new AI for Excel course. This course covers everything you need to know about AI in Excel and how to save hours using AI tools like ChatGPT, Copilot, AI-driven functions, and more. You'll learn how to use AI to write formulas, VBA code, Python in Excel, analyze and visualize data, and do virtually anything in Excel. If this sounds interesting, check out the link in the description below to learn more. All right, back to the video. Here we have the same sales data set, but now we need to add a column to the data that contains the quarter the sale was made in. So for example, the first sale was in January, so we would want a one in column H because January is in the first quarter of the year. We have no idea how to calculate this, 
So let's see if Copilot can help. I'm going to open up Copilot and to the prompt, add a column to the data that contains the quarter the sale is in based on the date and send it off. After a little bit of thinking, it responds back with a formula for us to review. First, it explains that it calculated each quarter by calculating the month of the sale date and converting it into the corresponding quarter. Then it actually wrote the formula for us and even showed us a preview of the new column. Now this is impressive. Once we've confirmed that everything looks good, we can hit the insert column button and Copilot automatically adds a formula to our data table. It truly doesn't get any easier than that. Last but not least, let's see how Copilot can help us visualize the sales data. We are new to Excel and have no idea how to create charts and don't know where to begin. Let's start by opening up Copilot and selecting the suggested prompt show data insights to see what it comes back with. Okay, it responded back letting us know that it analyzed the data and then created this unit sold by sale ID chart for us. This might not seem that impressive at first, but let's give Copilot another shot and look at the suggested prompts again. We can either ask Copilot to see another insight or we can add all insights to grid. Let's go ahead and click add all insights to grid to see what happens. Within a few seconds, Copilot created this entire dashboard for us, containing six different charts, data insights, and multiple pivot tables. This is pretty crazy. This would have taken hours to create, and Copilot just created it in seconds. If we somehow still don't see what we're looking for in this dashboard, we can tell Copilot to create exactly what we need. Let's say we want to create a column chart visualizing sales by quarter. All we would have to do is navigate back to our data, enter the prompt, create a sales by quarter column chart, and immediately we have our chart. Now we can just click the add to new sheet button and we have the exact chart we were looking for in our worksheet. Thanks Copilot. I think it's safe to say Copilot lived up to the hype. It's literally your 24 seven Excel assistant and lives directly within Excel. If you want to master Copilot and other AI tools such as ChatGPT, AI functions, analyze data, and more, make sure to check out my new AI for Excel course link below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more.